Well, welcome back to Neubrunn. And just checked the map and when our grass field said ready to harvest. I was like, okay, cool. Let me jump in the blue tractor. Let me get this done. And I thought it was either this or even Amberstone that has a that had a third tractor and apparently it was this series take off the glasses because sometimes I'll be right up on them right up on the screen there now how is this going to work okay that's how it's going to work Yeah, too bad you can't set a swathing deal to this either. Gonna have to see how much a, a rake is. get this done and I'll check on the price of a rake and either way we'll have to take the loading wagon over it.
That should have kind of filled it up a little uh, quick there. Alright, well, we're good. And we are going to go off and uh, feed some sheep. Okay, I'm going to need a bigger tractor because this one was waving all over the road. Did I just come in here the wrong direction? Mm, maybe. Wow, that was a good chunk. Alright, um, yeah, sorry, I keep switching back and forth to my glasses and back, I don't know. Wear glasses, no glasses, wear glasses, no glasses, yada yada, just depends on how much or how tiny things are on the screen that I'm trying to see. But now we can run over to the animal dealer and uh, we can and uh, sell the rest of this. $4,403. Yeah, that's about half ish of what I paid for the wind rower. So, not a bad little haul. And, um, yes, I know I made a rule about when I buy coins to buy fields, wait for a cycle to go through. But since this is the map that I have the cereal factory on, 
I'm going to be needing to buy a lot of coins just to get the machinery and the field for the for the grapes. And to be very honest with you guys, the only times I messed with grapes was out of a greenhouse. I can park you here and I can't remember if we go over the grass field again is if we're going to be getting another layer of fertilizer or not but we can go through field one and field nine there we go let's do us some fertilizing where's my fertilizer right there 50 feet from the tractor I could have said 50 miles because of how far it is but I don't know well we can start over here because I am not sure but if we do get a layer of fertilizer, I'll be happy. Good majority of this video was time lapsed, and wonder I just didn't turn the whole thing into a time lapse. But if we was to buy another field, which one would we go after? Do we want to stay near this area? Do we want to go over to the sheep area? Okay, that's the sheep. Horses. Yeah, I don't think there's any animals up here. Oh. Or we can come up here to the far corner, to the pig barn. You know, and look around this area. I don't know, really.
but since like I said that we do own the cereal factory we might actually have to buy a lot of coins just to get the just to get the uh, equipment pass it already back this way okay cuz I'm sure that we really don't need all of this but just But yeah, anyway, that's just for the tractor. 242,000. And what is Okay. That field is $288,936. So just between the field and the tractor itself, the Great Harvester, that's well over $500,000 right there. So one $500,000 alone is not going to get both of these at the same time. Well, if I don't, I'm going to have a cereal factory just sitting there doing nothing except collecting dust. Hmm. Anyway, if I do get the equipment, I won't uh I won't buy the coins when uh when I'm recording because that's just going to add to the uh, jump cuts on the uh, editing so uh, excuse me uh, it's thumbnail time nice okay Um, yeah, well, at least we got a wind rower. <laughs> Brand new. And it wasn't that much, too. Just slightly over $8,000. The other one sitting there was 25000 something like that, I think. But, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I went with this one. It's not really all that bad. It just, it's wavy, as squirmy as all get out. So, yeah. Um, but anyways, I'm going to leave it here, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Take care of yourselves. I'm out. Peace.